All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your Droid Razor or a Droid Razor Max, which I have right here. And this is actually running a custom ROM. But I'm going to show you guys how to SBF this thing back to factory stock, which is now Jelly Bean, uh, which is 4.1.2. So let me just show you really quick what I'm on right now, just so you can see how this is going to function. I'm going to go to About Phone, and I think you can see that. Right here it says model is XT912 and it's actually running right now because it's a custom ROM. It's running 4.2.2. This is Saijin Mod 10.1 made by Hashcode. Uh, this is doing it through SafeStrap. Uh, I could go back to my stock ROM or you don't really have to. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use um, RSD Lite to restore this thing to factory stock. So what we're going to do is power off the phone. Power off. Hit OK, and it's going to power up. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the uh, XML file, which I will have in my video description, along with RSD Lite, newest version, and uh, the Motorola drivers. So you want to have all those things on your computer already. So what we're going to do is we're going to push the volume up and down along with power until you see this screen. So from here, you're going to scroll down two with the volume button. One, two. It says AP Fastboot, and then you're going to push the volume button up. And you're going to start AP Fastboot mode. So now all you're going to do is hook your USB cable to your computer and to your phone. If I can get a hold of it here. Plug it in. All right, your computer's going to recognize it. It's going to up install any drivers you need because you already installed the Motorola drivers. All right, so here is RSD Lite, guys. Um, and you can actually see right here that we are connected in it and this is some device information pretty much just tells you NA not a huge deal but uh, it does say that you are what mode what model you got here ports connection status some result status and uh, your process so you do have some information here what you're gonna do once you open RSD light is click on this and then we're gonna scroll to the file we want which is actually called, if I can find it here, uh, right here, CDMA Spider 9.8.20 slash 72 Ryzen 16 blah, blah blah XML. So you're just going to click click on it, and it says compress only or compress and start flashing. You can do either. I'm going to show you just compressing only right now, so that it can give you more information. So we're going to let this compress. Um, and then you'll see more information on here. While we're waiting on that, right here is that file again, right here. And then here, uh, where are we at here? Should be some drivers in here. Yeah, Windows drivers right here. Here's some drivers you're going to want. And then RSD Lite program, obviously, which is this right here. Um, so let's go ahead and let this go through. I am running the official release, which is the .16, uh, right now on this device with the custom ROM. Uh, you should be able to use the SPF file if you're running Ice Cream Sandwich, if you're running the Christmas version, any of them should, this should function on it to upgrade you. Uh, so, right here you can see now you have some more information about the file you're going to flash. All of its information is right there, so that's very good. Um, and I just like to highlight this again, and then all you got to do is hit start. And it's going to go ahead and try to flash everything you need. Mm -hmm. So right here you can see your process here mm -hmm. of how it's flashing it. Um, so you can see that information. Mm -hmm. And this process is probably going to take up to 10 minutes mm -hmm. to do this. So be very patient waiting for this to go through. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just flashing everything. The last thing you may have to do when this thing is done is you may have to factory wipe uh, your data and all that kind of good stuff. So reset, basically do a reset on the phone. So we're going to go ahead and just let this thing go through its process. Um, like I said, you don't want to unplug it. You don't want the computer to shut off. You don't want anything bad to happen while this is going through it. It's going to take probably 10 minutes. I'm going to kind of pause when it gets closer to some of the other processes. It's got to flash through a whole bunch of good stuff. System, pre-install, radios, I mean all kinds of goodies on there. When it gets done with all that, uh, I'm going to show you what's going on with it, so we'll come back to it then. So, uh, as you guys can see, we have 
15 of 16 things flashed right here and we're flashing pre-install you're probably two longest things to flash are going to be system and pre-install those are the two biggest files that it's flashing to the device so again just be patient with it um, let's see what we get to next okay after a pre-install here we just flashed our radios and it's now telling the device to reboot so we went to this screen and um, it's going to kind of process it while it's trying to reboot I don't know it's how long this can take. It can take up to 10 minutes to reboot the device. And you're going to get two things. You're either going to get a, um, that it was a successful flash and everything reboots fine, or it's going to go into a boot loop. So if it goes into a boot loop, I can show you how to fix that, but let's just see how it goes right now. See what happens. Just be patient with it, and we'll see what happens here. Now, the screen just went off there, so we got rid of the M logo. Alright, so it's actually flashing some stuff in recovery. I'm guessing this is radios. Um, it might even be wiping data. I don't know. So let's just let this finish its process here. If it's wiping data, you won't have a boot loop problem. So let's just let this go through. It's a little Android guy in progress bar. Sorry, it's blurry there. There you go. So just watch that go. Let's let let's this thing finish. You can see on the screen it just says it's rebooting still. Um, I'm guessing this is a radio update that it's flashing right here. That's normally how they do radios. Uh, recommendation, don't pick up your phone like this. You might knock that cable loose and that could be a real bad thing. But for you guys, for this video, I'm going to do it anyway. Almost done here. Shouldn't take too much longer. In recovery this is stock Android recovery right here but it's being run from RSD light or I should say it's being accessed or told what to do however you want to say it giving getting commands I don't know how this is gonna take so I'll come back when it changes all right that little Android guy went away we're back to the Motorola logo um, ooh, look at that it's been doing it for so long my screensaver went on so let's see what we get to next here it, there we go. Alright, please tell me we're going to get a boot animation here. And there we go. Beautiful. Loving it. Let's go ahead and let this finish up here. So, still rebooting, obviously. Um, it says here we still got this progress little thing changing. This little arrow right here changing. And it says it's in progress. Again, just let this thing sit. Again, probably five minutes you could possibly be in boot animation, so just let it go. If it reboots, we're going to do a factory reset, and I'll show you how to do that. Or if it starts boot looping, I should say. It still says it's rebooting, which is interesting. Let's see what we got here, because I'm actually in my phone. So I'm going to unlock it here, because it didn't wipe my data. So I still kept all my data. But, it, but let's see what we got here. We're going to go to uh, settings. And we're going to go to about phone. And as you can see now, well, let me actually get you zoomed in here so you can actually see this. All right, here we go. So as you can see now, we're on Android version 4.1.2. And our build number down here is this, this build number right there which is an SBF build number. So let's see here. And then up here our system version is the .16 um, for XT912. So you can see all that stuff's very good. I'm even getting all my information back to it, but we're not running my stock ROM and we have fully SBF the, fo the phone. Now, this just got it back, um, but didn't wipe any of my data. So let me show you how to do that, but let's let this thing finish. It still says it's in progress. So I'm kind of curious as to why it's doing that. This is mass storage. Mm, let me get rid of all that stuff. So you see we have USB debugging on right there on the top. So we have SPF, but we haven't wiped data. So if you want to lose everything on the phone, you'd have to wipe data. But I want to see if this thing will finish processing here. So let's just give it a sec. Well, as you can see, we still says rebooting, which is a little interesting to me. Um, I guess we're stuck in this process. 
Don't know why. But our phone has booted up, so I'm not too worried about it. If it hasn't booted up, it's going to give you a fail message or something like that. Um, some issues that's going on with the device. Oh, here we go. Now it did it. So please manually power up this phone. Well, it is manually powered up. So at this point, we can go ahead and just close this out. It's going to tell us that something's still in progress. It could damage the attached device, but the device is booting, so it's not an issue. If it's not booting, you don't want to do this, but if it fails and starts boot looping, you're going to have to wipe data, and you're pretty much going to have to close this anyway. So to do this, what we're going to do is just go ahead and close it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do a um, wipe data on this thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and uh, pull the cable out. Okay, so what we got here is our device. Let's say you're having a problem and you need to wipe data. The device is boot looping. So let's go ahead and just power it off. And your device is now, is, let's say it's boot looping like I was saying. So what we're going to do, come on, power off. All right, so you're, you're boot looping. You went to the boot animation screen. It never booted up the device fully. It just keeps going through the boot animation or the Motorola logo. It's all you keep seeing. Um, and it just keeps repeating that. And then going boot animation, Motorola logo, boot animation, just keeps going. That's called a boot loop. So what we're going to do if it's doing that is you're actually going to hold power button and volume down and just keep holding them. And what that does is that does a hard reset. Okay? And once it hard resets, you see a little flash there? You're going to go ahead and switch to both volume, up and down, and power. And hold, like let go for a second and then hold them. You're going to get to this screen again. All right? So last time we, we selected the AP Fast Boot, which is right here. Now we're going to scroll to where it says recovery and then volume up. That is going to get us into stock Android recovery. Um, what you're actually going to see is a guy on it laying on his side here. It's a little Android guy. Um, when you see him laying on his side, you're still not quite to stock Android recovery. The only way to get to it is to push both volume up and down at the exact same time. So that's what we're going to do right now. Alright, so there you go. A little tricky, kind of a pain in the butt for me to get to it. Uh, let me refocus in case we can't see this very well. Okay, so here we go. So if you are stuck in boot loop, all you got to do is come down here to where it says wipe data factory reset. Use the power button to select it and it'll wipe your data and factory reset your device. Then all you got to do is come back up to the top when it's done and say reboot system now, hit power and it will reboot the device. Now your device, after you've um, AP fast booted or SBF, whatever you want to call it, uh, factory restored your device. Now it will boot up correctly even though it was stuck in a boot loop before. And that will fix your boot loop problem. So there you go guys, that is pretty much it. That is how to take the uh, Droid Razor Max or Droid Razor on Verizon. Like I said, it's an XT912 and get you, you can either use it to update to uh, Jelly Bean dot 16 version, the newest one, or you can use it to restore because you messed something up because you had root device and you moved something you shouldn't have moved and the phone won't work no more. This will go ahead and restore you back to stock and you'll be good to go again. And obviously the SPF file does not wipe data, um, but this would be the way to do it that I just showed you. So that's it. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Um, I got another one coming on a utility on how to do the same kind of thing using a utility instead of RSD Lite, which is really nice. Probably doing that soon. Uh, hope you like it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Check out my webpage above my thumb here. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.